Hi, this is Anton Rödig of the German death metal grind death band Provenation. You're listening to the bloodshed with the vampire or in metal messiah radio. Anton, thank you very much for taking time out for this interview. It's a pleasure to have you here at the metal bloodshed with the vampire on metal messiah radio. My pleasure too. Germany is a home to some of the most brutal and well-renowned acts in the death metal scene. Formed in Görlitz is a town in eastern Germany on the Polish border since 1997. Profanation have been an important player in German death metal. The first lineup contained Alex on guitars, vocals, Lux on bass and Anya on drums. In February 2000, Anya left the band and Lux switched over to drums and a new bass player was found soon in U Anton and in In summer 2001, the first CD, Dead Man Rotting, was released. Anton, how did you join Profination and how was the support the band received with the debut album, Dead Man Rotting? <laughs> Pretty Let's say, to take it short, we had some friend who introduced me to Alex and Luxel at the time. And somehow we just talked about that I would like to play in a death metal band. I was playing in some hard rock and stuff like that at the time. And, and somehow it just developed into, yeah, I wanted to do more brutal stuff. And so we just fixed some rehearsal to get together. And I think it clicked from the first time we were playing there and after you joined the band you guys released the band's first album that was in summer 2001 under the name dead man rotting how do you see the band yes yeah, so it was support how did the fans critics receive this album dead man rotting that's a tough question first year in 2000 singer hippie also joined us on vocals so we had developed that uh, profanation death grind style with uh, two different vocal styles with a more that high pitched voice and deep goals of Alex. And when we had recorded our album, which was recorded on at one weekend, one day for instruments, we played that whole live, our music <laughs> all in one room. <laughs> really <laughs> funny. The next day, the vocals pretty similar because two, both vocalists in the same room and they just went ahead and <laughs> I think the vocals are pretty crazy on that one. Yeah, but after the re release, I think we had some support from Morbid Records, which were a big underground death metal or grindcore label at the time and sold some CDs for us. But I think we didn't do very much promotion can remember some two or three reviews in magazines at that time. <laughs> And on 2005 saw the band's return with a second album called Dead Body Fuck. And after a great experience of the Australian tour in 2006, that was somewhere around April, The band finished a bunch of new songs and recorded the third album, Lost Fall Screams of Torture, with Andreas Hilbert of Golem, released by Morbid Record in 2007. The band's fourth album, Contoured Body in Paint, was recorded at Sound Lodge, yes, Sound Lodge Studio with Jörg Uken, who also worked with, yes, bands like Goddy Throne, Sinister, Cliff Eater, New sentence etc and at least 4th of november 2011 via matt lion records twilight distribution with different shows tours and band lineup changes the band yes released three more albums don't you mind to share the experience the band left with each of these albums it's been pretty different from each album because Somehow, if I think of the times when we recorded that body fuck, it was very low budget and a studio from Singer had met at the time and they just started. <laughs> so it was extremely tough recording stuff. For example, they deleted the cymbal and crash lines recording the drums <laughs> and <laughs> our drummer had to go to the studio just to <laughs> play these again. So that was 
very tough for him. <laughs> But do you see that the band was getting more mature? The fan base was growing much more with each album. That the band was getting much serious into what you want to do. Let's put it that way. We always were very underground and had some problems always with distribution and promotion and stuff like that. Because when we released our last full scheme, the Torture album in 2007 on Morbid Records, a short time after that, the label was bankrupt. So there was no promotion at that time. The uh, next album was Contorted Bodies. It was a very good experience working with Jörg at Sound Lodge Studio because it was the first time we really had something like professional the way york worked is so <laughs> relaxing let's <laughs> say this way so, so it was a good experience and we are very happy with how the album turned out for the label at that time mad lion records distribution with twilight which should have been worldwide but <laughs> But the distribution was also insolvent sometime later. They could have getting more recognition worldwide because if you look how far we got from album to album, I think we gotten more mature musically, but not a very much wider audience. So it's just starting now with our new album into Cascades of Blood in Burning Soil. It's getting better and better because I'm working in Facebook and all that stuff and starting to work and more people get into no profanation. And That's very good to hear. Anton, could you please present us the band, current lineup? The current lineup is founding members is Alex on vocal and guitar and Luxel on drums and me who joined shortly after on bass guitar. And now since 2016, we have Vincent, a new young guitar player who is very talented. I think musically is the biggest talent of all of us. <laughs> and that improved very much the guitar work and abilities in songwriting to add solos and stuff like that. And we had another problem that our singer Jeff left us. I say he's more like a session member at the time because Because he lives some 200 kilometers away and has no car and somehow lost interest in having gigs with us. He's still available for some gigs, but only single three or four songs. And most is Alex part. And we have another session singer, Flo. Very funny because he's a very slim guy and screams his guts out. <laughs> so it's very fresh energy that was injected into the band but we have the problem he's still in school it's not always available for live shows so we have to work to be not so limited because of that we also have gigs as a four piece with alex only doing vocals and vincent guitar me bass guitar and looks at drums so that's quite fine going back to the original members anton for those who don't know the band started with a girl on drums anya did you guys hear from her since she left the band we were in touch some time after that when i think It's like 10 years ago, maybe, and she would join us to come to shows or so. But at the time when she was in the band, she was a girlfriend of Alex. And when they split, somehow <laughs> it all difficult. It always happened. You don't see each other every day. It's getting different. For sure. Germans, that grind outfit is back. The butchers are back with a new output called into the cascade of blood and burning soil. The band Profanation is deliver nothing else than old school brutal death grind in a groovy way. Anton, I want to congratulate you for the release of the band's new fifth album. On March 16, the band did the album release party. Where was this show and who else played there and how was the whole night gone? I have to say it wasn't planned as record release party and uh, sadly enough we had to cancel that because our singer wasn't available at the time i was only there as a visitor and selling some of our cities we had already and the release was on april 24 i think so there was no real release party <laughs> that's a pity but yeah <laughs> i couldn't change that and luckily we had some time later that Bonnemont Festival on 1st of June. And that was very 
a cool small open air in our area. So it was the first show with the album out. The fifth album into Cascades of Blood and Burning Soil was yes, released on April 26, 2019 through Hostile Media. Anton, if you don't mind, would you like to present us the album track and list? Our new album Into Cascades of Blood and Burning Soil. Now going through the track list of the new album. And we started with Incantation, which is more like an intro of the album. But the first time we played this one, they only used samples for intro. It was like when playing around in the rehearsal room, we had the riff of our final track, A Place to Pray, and used that to slow down and play that uh, like some My Dying Bride, very very heavy drums getting in this uh, very slow style. I I think it's it's very cool with that sample uh, or with that a spoken words intro that was spoken by Dave of Lividity and it just introduces the whole concept with that apocalyptic visions we use this time. Then we just kick in with uh, the title track into Cascades of Blood and Burning Soil, which is very fast, I think, sometimes like Swedish death metal, uh, very fast forward. Third one, Seed of Evil, is more of that I would compare to bands like Dying Fetus or so, bit more tricky and groovy than Silent God, which is very funny. Because the song that most people remember when they hear the album and say that this is the most memorable or interesting with that a drum intro. The fifth one, Blood Buffs in Heaven, is pretty extreme. <laughs> Let's say it this way. Number six, Der Gemütliche, has German title, which came about very funny because we have a very slow, almost a boat tour like riff at the start. And it's somehow we just started to take a working title der gemütliche because it's the slow and <laughs> sometime during songwriting we just thought to keep the name write the lyrics around that about some guy who's getting home and eating his family <laughs> typical <laughs> funny stuff <laughs> then we have our number seven unholy brutality unleashed which is i say english sounding death metal it's that benediction stuff and so on. Very catchy. Number eight, the prophecy is more into that extreme American death metal. Number nine is Borges Joy. Uh, more uh, grind influence stuff. Very cool. So it's like six minutes pure grind and some very different riffs included. And last track, A Blaze for Bray. It has some cold black metal vibes almost and if i remember right it's the oldest or the first song we wrote for the new album and the lyrics are from our old singer jeff who is also doing vocals on this one and i think it's it turned out pretty cool and in general it's the whole album it's very different from song to song the fifth album from german death metal titans profanation no less than 10 track of brutal yet hook laden of old school death metal thank you very much anton for describing us the album track and list and thank you for the prompt response and sending me the album mp3 file you're sure you're welcome <laughs>
The album was recorded, mixed, and mastered by Jörg Eugen at Sound Lodge Studio, just like your fourth album, Contoured Bodies in Pain of 2011. Lyrics by Jeff, Alex, Vincent, and yourself, and Matri. Anton, how long and how was the making of the band's fifth full-length album gone? And what have been done differently compared to the previous works? We didn't do so much different, I think. But somehow the time between Contorted Bodies in Pain and Into Cascades of Blood and Burning Soil is very long. Yeah, in the end it was eight years between those two records because we had some lineup changes. Guitarists left after Contorted Bodies and we had to try another one before we found Vincent as a replacement and that was a very tough time for the band I think around 2015 to 16 we were like a little bit <laughs> let's say cold dead when Vincent joined he somehow resurrected the band and we started to finish the song ideas we already had and started to write some new material. And in 2018, we decided to go to the studio again. And yeah, it was like, I think, three or four months before we just booked the date in the studio and told, OK, we have to go. We have to finish the songs. And but somehow over the years, songs turned out to be pretty different from each other, which makes, makes the album pretty diverse. And recording with Jörg was somehow the same, like at the Contorted Bodies. It's very relaxed. You know how he's working. You know, <laughs> everything is will sound great. <laughs> And uh, the only problem was that Jeff had left us on vocals or whether he was still a session member or a member of the band, but didn't rehearse with us. And so Alex just took over 95% of the vocals and only one song was left to Jeff. And that is the main difference of the new album. I think that it's mostly Alex on vocals who has a very deep growling voice like Corpse Grinder and stuff like that. That's one of the points that make the album more death metal than the predecessors. Are you guys satisfied and very happy with the work done at Sound Lodge Studio as it was done on Contorted Bodies in Pain? Yeah. We're absolutely happy with Jörg. He's working perfectly. He's uh, yeah, a great friend. Just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the band's first album, the band's singer at that time is also a tattoo artist and media designer. And he took over that part to create the album artwork. Uh, yes, as the band had its first label release, Lost Full Screams of Torture in 2007, they wanted something that wouldn't create a censorship problems. So uh, that one was done by a friend. For the band's fourth album, you decided to give artworks into professional hands, Motla. Art created the artwork for Contorted Bodies in Pain. For the band's fifth album, Rudy of Rudy Gargan Suicide Art Yanto agreed to design the album completely and into a cascade of blood of a burning soil turned absolutely stunning. He perfectly brought Alex's ID into life. My questions are why didn't you guys went back to Motla Art and how did you got in touch with Rudy and are you guys happy uh, with the end result of this album cover artwork? <laughs> That's many questions in one. <laughs> Why we didn't go back to Motla Art, I think it's not conscious decision. Let's say Alex is always looking around in Facebook what artists are working there, having for sale. So he's always contacting them for t-shirt designs and stuff like that. And somehow it was just him getting in touch with Rudy sometime and exchanged ideas and Rudy just created that whole album design and I think it's absolutely stunning. We just recently got noticed that the artwork is also featured or will be featured in Heavy Music Artwork book about best album covers of 2019 and that's a great honor for us and 
for Rudy as well, I think. <laughs> sure, very great. It's a great cover artwork, Anton. That's for sure. It's absolutely awesome and somehow it, it fits perfectly the lyrics of the album and the whole content. Yeah, especially you guys are there almost ready to butcher this young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Quite metaphorical. <laughs> I think it's, if I was to interpret the whole cover artwork, you have to see that those guys from which the one is looking like Jesus and the other like some high priest of Catholic Church or so. And even if you look at the background idea was you have some zombies and some businessmen, stuff like that. Some people <laughs> even say that he looks like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's like all the evils and the innocent or naked woman <laughs> in for like a sacrifice can be seen as today's world or so. After the summer festival, Torture the Masses Festival in Leipzig, the band did more shows in Germany, including in the band's hometown of Gierlitz. A three days tour to Poland was done. How was The tour gone in Poland, Anton. The tour was organized by our old label Mad Lion Records. We have to thank Przemek, the label boss, very much for inviting us. And uh, the idea of doing this four show tour came when Przemek just contacted me in summer about the idea to have us five bands, Pipnos of Czech Republic and Tothery, and Bloodfamy from Netherlands, and Planet Hell, a new band from Poland, to do a tour together. And he just asked if we could organize a show in our hometown or somewhere nearby, and he would take care that we can play three shows in Poland, which two were in, in Lodz and in Bielsko Biala, where, like, label festivals of his label with headlining band Pestilence, which was just awesome and absolutely great experiences, big audiences, and especially the show in Bielsko Biala was just awesome. A very, let's say, perfect club for heavy metal and great audience, awesome time, awesome guys to meet, especially Blood for Me, where we became good friends, I say, and everyone. It was just It was a great time for the band. Yeah, great bands, as you said, Blood for Me and Pestilence. Both bands I interviewed Pestilence a year ago, Blood for Me a couple months ago. Two great bands from the Netherlands. Yes, and Poland. I had this great opportunity to visit Kedans. Uh, that was back in 2017, if I'm not wrong. As you say, the Polish metalheads are very extreme. I mean, they are very wild. They support the metal scenes 100% percent all the way i like the shows around uh, in uh, poland i love poland i you know especially i love the prices are of, uh, <laughs> everything is so cheap it's absolutely awesome i have to say it's great no matter if you're in czech republic or poland crowds are always crazy you always feel they very old school and keep death metal alive very much and it's just Awesome. For us as a band, it's great to be in Eastern Germany, which is and located very close to the border to Poland. Before the year's end, the band still have two shows left. One in the Netherlands at MFC Kuvorden, December 12th this coming week. And one in Czech Republic at KD Burger Trinis, December 28th. Anton, what can the fans expect at these shows? And is it the first time that you guys going to be playing at these countries? At least for the Netherlands, it's our will be our first show there. And we have to thank a board of Devbox NL very much for helping with getting that show. We really look forward to coming to the Netherlands and just, I think it's, it will be an awesome experience. So <laughs> we're really keen on going there. And uh, one week later, we go to the Czech Republic and have that show in Trenice with Flashless and Alta Ego. And I think it's, yeah, it's, Just, I mean, we played uh, very many times in Czech Republic and it's been always very great, awesome people, awesome audiences. 
and uh, the clubs it's very friendly where you go there <laughs> so we just look forward to these last two shows of the year and hope for many more to come in the next year <laughs> okay tell me <laughs> yes i must be agree with you people in czech republic i go there uh, several times for different festivals and the people are very nice very kind and what i like about it the beers are very cheap <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's true yeah okay. <laughs> And then, yes, the band founded in 1997, Profanation, are back with their full length into Cascade of Blood and Burning Soil, an album that sees Profanation releasing their best material to date. It was originally released in April 2019 through Hostile Media. All tracks are finally balanced between speed, aggression, and groove with profanation, somehow managing to create a rap line, connecting all of the songs even through its not conceptual record. This is old school death metal adapted for modern times with superb production. Anton, to end this interview, in how many formats are the album available at this very moment, eight months after its release? To be honest, it's just on CD and a digital version because, yeah, <laughs> we don't have the money to do a vinyl version ourselves. And we agreed with the label if the sales were good, they would just press some vinyls. But to be honest, at the moment, I not very much in touch with the label or don't get messages back. So we just have to wait and see. And yeah, we hope <laughs> for the future to get sometimes more more of these out okay what will the band be doing for 2020 are there shows already booked yeah it looks like a lot of shows we have some festival in our area already already then we are in touch with spectrum of delusion another great technical death metal band of the netherlands and the singer is just organizing some shows in park and maybe another one in the czech republic and we do a show somewhere in our area and yeah looking pretty good some birthday for a friend of ours and a lot of shows so yeah, i think it will be a very active year for population okay anton i want to thank you very very much once again to have made this interview possible and yes i want to thank bart as well of that box who put me in contact with you yes and i uh, want to thank each and every one you know that have uh, made this interview possible each and every member of the band please say hello to them for me say hello to alex say hello to vincent and say hello to looks please and Yes, I'm going to hand you over the microphone of uh, Madame Saya Radio for you to, yes, to invite all your friends, all your fans to support the band, to buy the band previous album, to put their hands on this brand new masterpiece into Cascade of Blood and Burning Soil, and to also attend the band's upcoming show, Anton. Thank you very much, Jacobo, for everything. I think we, as a band, are very grateful for the opportunity to be featured on your show on Metal Messiah Radio. I also want to thank DJ Ghost, another great uh, DJ of Metal Messiah Radio, who's always supporting us and playing our songs. And then I want to thank everyone who's just tuned in tonight and listens to our stuff and checks out everything and all the great death metal bands in the world it's yeah we're just very thankful for being here and anton before before you leave before we close down this interview please tell us about the merchandises for fans that really want to get a profanation merch what should they do and to, What kind of merch do you have available? Lots of merch available at the moment. We will have it with us at our shows and you can find it on our homepage profanation.de or uh, go to the Bandcamp page of Profanation. There will be uh, t-shirts, uh, girlies, long sleeves. At the moment, we're also working on putting some beanies together and maybe some great patches that yeah the design looks great we just have to wait when they will be finished and ready for sale just go to our facebook 
check us out and keep in touch and we will let you know when this new stuff of ours available. Okay, yes. I want to thank you very much and wishing you all the best with the band, all the best with this great new album into Cascade of Blood and Burning Soil and hoping to see you guys live in concert on the road when we will attend festivals in Europe this coming year 2020 and yes looking forward to have you yeah in the interview again for the bands yeah <laughs> I hope it's gonna be very close from now not too long to have you in interview for the band's yeah new album in uh, a short time yeah that's absolutely what we hope also <laughs> okay we awesome. so say Anton Metalon bye bye yeah Metalon and <laughs> see you keep in touch Thank <laughs> you.